Every year in the UK, more than 600 seemingly healthy people aged 35 and under die suddenly and without warning from an undetected heart condition. I paid a visit to Landeth Memorial Hall in Cardiff, where the charity Welsh Hearts hosted one of its regular screening days. I began by asking the charity's founder, Sharon Owen, why days like this are so important. Today's is very important because um, a lot of people, you hear the story of footballers, rugby players, that are collapsing on the pitch, um, cardiac arrest, um, and sadly they pass away. Yeah. And with our screening, we can pick up some um, serious heart conditions that you know, a young 16 to 45 year old would not have known that they had. Yeah. Among those having a test was rugby player James Harris, who's due to make his international debut for the Wales deaf team later this month. Uh, basically my girlfriend uh, booked it for me. Uh, I suppose, uh, looking back, I think the footballer who played for Bolton. Fabrice Mwamba. Yeah, I had a heart attack on the pitch, fit and healthy young man. Didn't know he had any heart defects, so... Yeah. Like I say, my girlfriend pushed me in the right direction. Sure. You know, I play, uh, play rugby myself. A lot of people that do a lot of sport, mm. they're putting so much more pressure on their heart. They, they take lots of energy drinks and, you know, they think they're really fit and healthy mm. and, and they, they just don't know. Um, uh, completely undetected. I mean, I'm now 34 and my grandfather died very suddenly when, I, when he was 43. I never knew him. Um, and that I'm less than a decade off that age now. So it's better to be safe than sorry. So I, I'm very glad to be here today, Sharon. There's a lot of, um, a lot of people come in just to have their ECGs. There's also a lot of people that are having an ECG and an echo. Mm. So, um, you know, it's really important that we, we you know, we address the, the, their heart conditions and, and get it sorted. Mm. And then they're referred on then to cardiology um, for, um, for further tests. Um, but we have found, since we've been doing the screening, we've screened over 1,800 people mm. now, and um, we've found a hole in the heart, you know, cardiomyopathy. Mm. Um, and, and have you had instances where you've sent people straight to hospital following things yeah. that have happened? Yeah, yeah. The, the first time we ever did a screening, the very, very first one, actually in Sam Warburton's old school in Wichita High School, mm. a young rugby player literally was was literally taken away to yeah. to the Heath Hospital. Mm. Um, he had a hole in the heart, but didn't even know he had. Mm. So that could have proved very, very serious. Then it was my turn for an ECG scan. Right, if you just prop yourself up on the bed, Marcus, and relax. Bottom quite far back this way, so you're not too far. Have you had an ECG done before? Never. It doesn't hurt, OK? Yeah. You just need to be nice and relaxed okay. for me. A minute or so later... I was wired up to the machine, which assessed heart rate, rhythm, and the chambers of my heart. The results were then printed out onto a graph to be analyzed straight away by a doctor. The whole procedure was painless and took just a few moments. Yeah, it's as simple as that, that's your ECG done. Fantastic. This is a bit we enjoy now. <laughs> She's enjoying this bit a bit too much, I think. <laughs> well, almost painless. I think Sally quite likes pulling plasters off hairy-chested chaps like me. Immediately after the scan, Dr Chandra Marugason talked me through the results. Hello, Marcus. Hello there. Uh, is there any concern um, uh, of you having an ECG today? No, there's no concern. No. Okay, so you are physically well? I think so. I mean, I'm not perfect. I don't live like a saint, but my lifestyle in general is pretty good. Okay, so now this just going through the history about your physical activities. Yeah. Dr. Marugason asked me about my lifestyle, my exercise routine, and my family history. The results of the test gave no cause for concern. He went on to provide some advice about how getting into good habits with exercise at my age will help my heart health later in life. Welsh Hearts hosts screening days like this on a regular basis across Wales. Test costs just £35 and anyone between the ages of 16 and 40 can attend. It's well worth it just for peace of mind, and it might save your life. You can find out when upcoming screening days take place and book a test by visiting welshhearts.org forward slash heartscreeningwales. You can also make a donation to the charity via the website, become a volunteer, or sign up for fundraising activities.